you guys first off welcome back to my channel i'm literally freaking out i don't even know what to do i don't even know if to cry or what to do but there's a video i filmed it's a q a kind of like um get ready with me q a or get ready with me whatever whatever the reason why i'm doing this is because if you guys saw in that video like i totally forgot what i was gonna say i just lost my thought oh, okay so in that video i tell you guys how i got off my birth control because i've been having like a I've had two like really serious things happen to me because of birth control. My body just rejects it. Sometimes your body just does that. My body doesn't react good to birth control. So me and my doctor decided, well, she said it's really up to me. But basically me and my husband and my doctor talked about it. And me and my husband decided for now that we would be off birth control. Um, didn't mean we were trying for a baby, but we weren't preventing it, if that makes any sense. That's how I got pregnant with Leo. And he's now, now two years old. So, um, a while ago I bought this, like, pack of, like, a bunch of, like, strips. What are they called? Uh, urine test strips. They're, like, it's literally a bag of, like, 20 I think 20 for like six dollars on Amazon and I was like oh, I'm just gonna buy a cheap pack for just in case whenever you know have pregnancy scares just because I'm not on birth control and pregnancy tests can be very expensive even a dollar each one like at the 98 cent store that's still pricey so I was like I'm just gonna get a pack one that has good reviews but like the cheapest pack that comes with a lot of them so I'm pretty sure at this point you already know because um, if I am really pregnant then this will be my pregnancy announcement but I want this clip in there because I'm literally, I'm so nervous. I did not think I was pregnant but let me show you guys the little strips. So this is what the strips look like. They just look like this and there's clearly two lines there. Do you guys see that? They're right And I've taken many of these, probably like four of them. And because I have been feeling weird, but they were all negative. So then I was just like, whatever. Like today I was feeling very weird, very crampy. I felt like it was going to get my period, but I was like, I don't know. Like, I don't feel like this unless I'm on my period. And I've been kind of throwing up in my mouth TMI, but that's what happens to me. It happened to me last time I was pregnant. I would just throw up in my mouth randomly, like when I would burp it would be like a little burp and then like throw up comes up but yeah and i'm kind of freaking out because leo is in that terrible two stage and we're kind of at the stage where in the near future like two three years me and my husband want to get our own thing going like his own business so that's where we're at right now and i feel like a baby it's fine because we're in a good place we're stable in every single way but it's just scary you know it's scary especially now that I have another one and he is like being really bad right now he's in those terrible twos and I'm like very frustrated at times with him I, I am learning to cope and to just calm down and then sit him down and be like hey you're not you know what I mean like it's just very hard being a parent to a toddler and I'm pretty sure it's going to get harder, but dang, to two babies. And you guys, I swear, you're supposed to dip it in a cup. I barely, I had literally finished going to the bathroom TMI again. If you don't want to, wait, I'll put a freaking disclaimer before this video because there's going to be a lot of TMI in this whole video, but I barely peed in that cup, like literally like this much. And I had to like tilt the cup over to get enough pee. For the strip because you have to get like the other one touch you have to dip it like that much and i didn't even have enough like not all of it went in there and it still said positive it's pretty dark you guys can clearly see the second light so i don't know how pregnant i am my last period was like two three months ago actually i have no idea i think three months ago july i don't know so i'm like 
I've taken several tests after that and I haven't so I can't be more than two weeks the most because I think I took one like two three weeks ago so I mean I haven't felt sick at all and I hope I don't get as sick as I did with Leo because I'm a mom now and I can't be going through that so I'm gonna have to at least I know what works for me what makes me feel better which is uh banana bags I would I would go and get IVS I don't know if I told you guys but I, I have to go I had to go get IV um ejected I don't know some IV treatment twice a week for like the whole time I was sick which was like the first five months of my pregnancy basically so before they actually treated me I was by the time like I was really I by the time I was like two and a half months almost in my at the end of my first trimester they finally figured out how nothing they literally gave me suppositories pills all this stuff nothing worked for me you guys i swear i tried everything so they had to do the iv because i was losing a lot of weight and i was gonna lose leo because i had no vitamins for him or for me he was literally sucking the life out of me and there was not enough to keep him alive so they had to start giving me treatment so i can eat because i couldn't keep nothing down and yeah so i'm like scared to do that but at least now i know what works for me my doctor knows what works for me so if it happens again especially now that i'm a mom already i don't know i'm just so scared i kind of, I kind of want to cry now my sister my older sister is coming over tomorrow and i think i'm gonna tell her first she's gonna be i don't even know i don't know what i'm gonna do i can't wait she's gonna be here all morning until like 2 p.m and i cannot stay the whole morning without actually knowing am i pregnant or not and she's the first person after my husband that i told that i was pregnant um so i feel like you know i, I need to tell her but i'm scared because i love being a mom like i take joy in that it's like my pride and joy like my baby is my everything like i do everything for him and i will put him first over everything and anyone you know and i just love him and i don't want i think i'm just scared i don't want him to think that i'm like gonna put him to the side you know yeah i don't want him because me and him are very close so i don't want him to feel like okay you're having a baby so and you know are you gonna ignore me so i'm gonna try my best not to do that and i don't know why i'm crying because i don't even know if for sure i am but this test just really freaked me out anyways i'm going to put it away try to sleep it's like two in the morning and just hope tomorrow i get my answer once i do i will probably go to the doctor tuesday and you know get all the classes started taking care of this baby the second baby which by the way i always i think it's gonna be a girl i know it's like super early and i don't even know if i am but if i am i think it's gonna be a girl and i have very strong intuition like with leo i knew i knew he was a boy since the beginning i knew i was gonna get like my doctor said oh yeah you're three weeks and i always said no i'm four weeks and they're like yeah your baby is measuring at three weeks and i was like no i'm four weeks but my baby's small like i knew i just know my body i knew out of all my calculations my period and you know all that stuff if you know what i'm talking about you know i was always one week ahead of what the doctor said and everything my due date was supposed to be august 6th and I had Leo August, well I started contracting August 1st and I had him August 3rd so I was always right I had him a couple days later but I was still right I was a week ahead you know and they were like a week behind so whatever I'm going to track this and see they're gonna it's gonna be so weird because I haven't had my period in like I don't know since when but anyways let's just go to the next clip so you guys can see me finding out if i am or if i'm not for real guys okay, so it's the next morning it's 5 20 a.m my husband just left and i am about to take a second pregnancy test this is the little bag of 
It's clinical guard and it's HCG pregnancy test strips. And it came with 20. I probably have like 14 left. So, this is a moment of truth to see if I really am or if I am not. I don't want to show you guys the actual tinkle because who wants to see that? I'm sorry I look so bad like you guys know I'm just like very late last night because of that. So here's a little pack. It just looks like this. I'm just gonna open it. Inside there's nothing but the little thing and then this like desiccant and as you guys can see there's nothing on look this is where the results go so all I'm gonna do is dip it up to the line and I will show you but it's a little awkward isn't it Now what I'm going to do is just go to Target later and get one of those tests that kind of says how long or how far along you are and yeah then after that I'll decide when I need to go into the doctor. Obviously I need to call and make my appointment but I don't know how far along I am so I need to check with that test because like I said my last period was, the first day of my last period was July 20th. And after that, I haven't gotten my period, so I I have an irregular period anyway, so I don't know. This is weird. It's weird that I am pregnant because, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Well, I'm not any more than a month because, yeah, I don't know what I was going to say, but I'm going to go try to take another nap. Leo does not want to go back to sleep. So we're just going to try and figure it out. Okay, bye. Okay, so it is the same day later in the day I went and I got the first response. And it's the one minute rapid result. Um, so I'm going to take that. I am so nervous because after this is yes, it's like for sure. So let me just take that real quick. Okay. So there it is. It hasn't even been less than a minute and it for sure says yes. So I am for sure prayers. I am shaking. Do you see how much I'm shaking? Yes, I'm shaking. Excuse my nasty nails, but yep, baby number two is on the way.